Hi guys, in this video we are going to learn how to write algorithm to find given number positive, negative or zero and draw flowchart for it. Here we are going to find given number positive, negative or zero. Write algorithm. Algorithm is a step by step process to solve a problem. Step 1. Algorithm is start with the start statement. So first we have to write start statement. In step 2, we have to read a number, given number, right? So here we have to read a number, consider n is a number. Step 3. In step 3, we have to use if condition. If n value equal to 0, if n value equal to 0, then we have to print. If this condition is true, then we have to print zero value else if the this condition is false if n is equal to zero if this condition is false means else condition we have to execute step 3.1 here we have to again check if n value less than zero if n value less than zero then we have to print if this condition is true if n value less than 0 means it is a negative value right so here we have to print negative value else if this condition is false then we have to print positive value see here if n value equal to 0 then we have to print if this condition is true we have to print 0 value else if this condition is not true then we have to go to step number 3.1 here we have to check if n value less than 0 if n value is less than 0 then we have to print negative value else we have to print a positive value next step 4 here we have to stop the flowchart using stop statement. So guys, this is the algorithm to find the given number positive, negative or zero value. It is start with the start statement. Step 2, we have to read n value. That is a number. Step 3, we have to check. If n is equal to zero, then we have to print zero value. Else, we have to go to step number 3.1 here. We have to check if n value less than zero then we have to print negative value else we have to print positive value in step number four we have to stop the flowchart sorry algorithm using stop statement next we have to draw flowchart flowchart is a graphical representation representation of solved problem flowchart is start with the start statement it is writing within a oval shape next we have to read input value Input value is writing within a parallelogram shape. Within that we have to read a number that is n. Next we have to check if n is equal to 0. If n is equal to 0, if this condition is true, we have to print 0 value, right? Here we have to print zero value if this condition is false here again we have to check if n value less than zero if n value less than zero if this condition is true We have to print negative value. Print negative value. If this condition is false, if this condition is false, we have to print positive 
value. See here, output values is always writing within a parallelogram shape and condition is writing within a diamond shape. See here, if n value is equal to 0, n value is equal to 0, if this condition is true, we have to print 0 value. If this condition is false, we have to again check if n less than 0. If n value less than 0 means it is negative, right? That time we have to print negative value. If this condition is false, we have to print a positive value. Next, finally, we have to combine these all with the stop statement. Finally, we have to stop flowchart with the stop statement. So, guys, this is the flowchart to find the given number positive, negative, or zero value. It is start with the start statement. Next, we have to read n value. It is writing within a parallelogram shape. Next, we have to check if n is equal to 0. Comparison is done within a diamond shape. If this condition is true, we have to print a 0 value. Else, false condition. If Again, we have to check n with 0. If n value less than 0. If this condition is true, we have to print negative value. If this condition is false, we have to print given number is a positive value. Finally, we have to combine all output with the stop statement. Here, input and output value writing within a parallel, sorry, oval shape. Next, input and output values is writing within a parallelogram shape and comparison is done within a diamond shape. If you like my video, please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching. All the best.